Hello and welcome to Buddhist Store Global's weekly news review. I'm Dr. Justin Whitaker, Senior Correspondent for BDG. In this week's news, the Buddhist monk, Venerable Ponyum Sunim, has been awarded the 37th Niwano Peace Prize. The Niwano Peace Foundation on Monday presented the 37th Niwano Peace Prize to the Korean Zen or Zen Master Ponyum Sunim, who has earned renown in his native South Korea and around the world for his insightful yet accessible Dharma talks and accolades for his far-reaching humanitarian activities as a socially engaged Buddhist. Reverend Dr. Susan Hayward, a member of the International Committee for the Niwano Peace Prize, noted that, quote, Venerable Ponyum's work serves as a poignant illustration of the Buddhist ideals that inspire it, end quote. Established by Nikkyo Niwano, the Peace Foundation was chartered in 1978 with the aspiration of working toward the realization of world peace. The prize takes the form of a medal, a certificate, and a grant of 20 million yen, or 190,000 U.S. dollars. Venerable Ponyan Sunim has said that he plans to donate the monetary award to COVID relief efforts in Myanmar and to the International Network of Engaged Buddhism's education program for women in Southeast Asia. The late Samsung Group chairman and Wan Buddhist Lee Kun Hee has died at the age of 78. Lee Kun Hee, the late chairman of the South Korea's Samsung Group, died on the 25th of October after an extended illness. An encoffining ceremony was held last Monday following the practices of Wan Buddhism, of which Lee was reported to have been a follower. A funeral service for Lee was scheduled for last Wednesday, after which his remains were to be laid to rest in the family burial ground in Yongin, Jiangji province. The ceremony last Monday was attended by his wife, son, and daughters. Along with family and friends, business and political leaders paid respects to Lee, who has been described as South Korea's most influential business tycoon. South Korea's President Moon Jae-in offered condolences through his chief of staff and the country's senior secretary for economic affairs last Sunday. Samsung employees created an online memorial altar to mourn his death. Buddhist leaders around the world have welcomed the 50th ratification of the nuclear ban treaty. Buddhist leaders have hailed the recent world peace milestone reached over last weekend when Honduras became the all-important 50th nation to ratify an international treaty to ban nuclear weapons, paving the way for the establishment of a comprehensive ban on nuclear arms. With the addition of the 50th signatory, the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, the first legally binding international agreement to comprehensively ban nuclear weapons, will come into force as international law on 22nd of January 2021, 90 days after the ratification of Honduras on the 24th of October. The international treaty, adopted on July 7, 2017, is ultimately aimed at the total elimination of nuclear weapons of war. In a written public statement on Monday, His Holiness the Dalai Lama lauded the news as a welcome development for the future of humanity. The Tokyo-based Nichiren Buddhist organization, Soka Gakkai International, also welcomed the ratification of the UN Nuclear Treaty with a public statement last Monday. And lastly, Rohingya refugees raised funds to help displaced Buddhists in Myanmar's Rakhine State. Aiming to repair communal tensions between Buddhists and Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar's Rakhine state, Rohingya Muslims, mostly students, now living in refugee camps in the southeastern Cox Bazar district of Bangladesh, are raising funds as humanitarian relief for Buddhists displaced by the ongoing conflict in Rakhine state, formerly known as Arakan. Operating as the Arakan Altruism Society and Education Network, the young refugees managed to raise 500,000 Myanmar chat, 388 US dollars, which was offered to displaced Buddhists to pay for food and shelter. According to media reports, more than 226,000 people, mostly Buddhists, have been displaced across Rakhine since late 2018 when clashes flared up between Myanmar's military and the Arakan army, a Buddhist rebel militia. Rohingya Muslims living in Sitwe, the capital of Rakhine State, and in Yangon, the former capital of Myanmar, are also collecting donations to help displaced Buddhists in the conflict zone. 
That is all for this week's BDG News Review. If you enjoy regular news videos delivered to you each week, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and share this video with friends. We appreciate your support and feedback in the comments below. Be sure to check out our website, BuddhistDoor.net, for these stories along with features and special coverage of Buddhism around the world.